Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the main reasons why I think the tight slots halfback week is such a good offense in Madden, and it is because of the alignment of the formation combined with the fact that it has one of the best corner routes in the entire game. The play we're going to be taking a look at today is the play Flood out of the tight slots halfback week, which can be found in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on the Cincinnati Bengals offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. It's only $10 to become a member, and it'll get you access to literally all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. The setup for this play is we are going to take our left side receiver, we're going to put him on a streak. We're going to take our right side receiver, and we're going to put him on a smart routed in route to kind of help with some of the spacing on this play. I also like to go ahead and motion him to the outside. Now, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a sale concept going to the left, and then we're going to have a backside kind of like little in route to be able to check down. So our first read on this play is we're going to peak this streak, and then we're really mainly looking for this corner route. Now, the beauty of this is whenever you run your tight, whenever you run your uh, tight with the corner route, whenever you run that corner route to the short side of the field. So you see here we're on the left hash, and so we're running this with our corner route to the left side. The cover three and the cover four coverages are going to really struggle to defend this because what you're going to see here is that outside third or outside quarter is going to get pulled by that streak, and then we're going to be able to throw that corner out underneath the deep zone defender. Really, the best way to defend this def or this play is to run some type of cover two, but the problem with cover two is you can easily high-low cover two in the flat area of the field, and then there's so much we can do over the middle. So what you're going to see here is even a stock cloud flat is not going to be able to get back deep enough to be able to defend this, and the other thing that they're going to be vulnerable to, what a lot of people will try to do, is they'll just basically back off these cloud flat defenders. And while that is a really good idea, um, it, it might slow down the corner route here, but this is where this running back table route is super, super important because as you can see, it's able to attack the flat area of the field. So what this is going to do is it's going to kind of drive your opponent nuts, obviously, defensively, and they're going to probably go into some type of defense that is going to look like a double flat or double Mabel coverage. The purpose of the double Mabel coverage in Madden is to be able to take away this kind of passing concept that we're showing you in this video. So for example, let's say they kind of set up a double Mabel coverage. Oftentimes it's going to look something like this and they're going to have their user in the middle of the field and his job is basically to cover the entire middle of the field. This is the primary reason why we want to go ahead and motion this outside receiver to the outside because what you're going to see is this running back will pull the flat defender and you can throw this tight in in the seam area of the field over there on the left hand side. So we can not only throw the tight end on the seam area of the field, but this is also going to mean that they're probably going to take their user and they're going to kind of basically defend almost like a curl flat defender. And then again, let's say, you know, maybe they set up a, a coverage defense that looks something like what you're seeing on your screen and the user is going to jump and go defend the tight end. So kind of kind of like imitate what that might look like. This is the main reason why we like to motion this guy out on the in route, because what you're going to see now is there's going to be a lot of space in the middle of the field where we can be able to check down to this backside in route against this defense. Now, this is also a really, really good play for attacking man coverage because we have a couple of, uh, of moving routes. We have a corner route, we have a drag, and we have this backside in route. So against cover one, or really most man coverages, your corner route is going to get open to the sideline. I actually ran very poorly right there, but one of the really cool features of the tight slots formation is even if they press coverage, a lot of times this corner route is going to be unbumpable and be able to be thrown over the top of the defender. Now, another thing that can happen is if they do, for whatever reason, if they are able to play really good press man-to-man -man coverage, they're still going to be in a situation where they're going to have to respect your tight end drag. And so what you'll see here is if they respect the tight end drag route, then your backside end route is going to get open over the middle of the field. So you basically have a two-man read between your tight end drag and your deep end route, or you can have your corner route to the sideline. And a lot of times this corner route is going to get separation, as you can see right there, against the man-to-man -man coverage. I want to thank you for watching this video. This is one of the most important ways to be able to attack zone defenses every single year. And tight slots gives you a lot of capabilities in terms of what it can do against man, what it can do against zone, and obviously what it can do against match coverage. If you want to get my entire tight slots offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.